So, getting ready for the NCLEX is not easy. You've just graduated nursing school or uh, past nurse school, whatever you want to call it. And now you have a little bit of time before you have to take this NCLEX thing. It's a great big exam that you have to pay all this money for. And then you put, I mean, you put a lot of stress into this thing. You work really hard to get to just take the NCLEX. And now it's time to take it. How do you get ready for the NCLEX? What I did uh, was actually kind of uh, worked out great for me. I took uh, Kaplan. Uh, maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. K-A-P-L-A-N. Kaplan. Um, it's like an online nursing resource. Uh, and when I went to nursing school, part of taking nursing school was we actually had to uh, buy the Kaplan, one year of the Kaplan program uh, in nursing school. We had to, uh, as part of our uh, literature, it was part of our books actually, was we had to go ahead and register for Kaplan. Um, and after I had graduated, I utilized the Kaplan Nursing um, NCLEX Test Prep, I think was the actual title of it. It was called uh, NCLEX Test Prep or uh, Test Readiness for NCLEX or some something like that. But it was through Kaplan Nursing. Um, and so they don't have the exact questions that you're going to get on the NCLEX but they have questions that are a lot like what you'll get on the NCLEX. And then they'll give you like a probability of passing. Um, you're gonna get questions on that NCLEX that are in specialties that maybe there's two people in the entire United States that are in that specialty. I mean, they got some off the wall questions on that thing. And you have no idea where they came from. Well, Kaplan had a lot of those same type questions. I mean, they were just as ridiculous as the NCLEX. Um, so I would take uh, a lot of Kaplan's at a time. I think you have like a you have like a test uh, bank, like a series of questions that you can take of several hundred. Um, there's several hundred questions in this test bank, uh, and you can. Um, if you take the test so many times, you'll eventually run out of questions. Uh, so I would take 50 questions at a time right after I left nursing school in this Kaplan uh, nursing experience. And then uh, maybe a week before my actual NCLEX, I took a uh, 100-question test. Because you can actually set parameters. You can say, I want to take five question tests. We can say, I want to take 250 question tests. You can set those kind of parameters on that Kaplan. Or well, at least you could a couple years ago. Um, so I would set mine for 50. And then when it got closer to time, I set it for 100. And uh, the good thing about the Kaplan is it, it explains to you why this answer wasn't the answer that you thought it was. It would explain to you why the NCLEX answer isn't going to be what you guessed or what you knew you th or thought you knew. Um, a lot of times it's not the right answer, but it's the rightest answer. You're going to see a question and all four answers are going to be correct. You got to figure out which one is the most correct. Which one is the rightest answer? For your situation and they love to give you like uh, which patient do you see first well I really don't know there in clicks I gotta take a look at all of them and you have to break them down and the captain will actually break them down for you uh, after you answer all, the, all your questions in your bank uh, you can review your test and it'll review your answers with you uh, and kind of tell you why you got that wrong um, and it, it may have a question very similar or maybe the same question written differently. Um, but 
I believe that that Kaplan really helped me. Um, Cause I mean, nursing school, they can teach you everything in the world, but uh, when you get that NCLEX, man, it, that's when it, that's when you gotta do, man. You gotta put up or shut up when it comes to that NCLEX. And uh, it wasn't no joke. I know I, I wanna say I paid about $350 to take that test. And uh, paying that amount of money, I wanted to be sure I was prepared for it. So I think the Kaplan might've been around 80 bucks, maybe. Uh, I had to, like I said, I had to pay for it um, before uh, I, well, not before I could get in class, but while I was in class, we had like a set date. It was like sometime in October, uh, the semester before last, I don't know. Anyways, um, we had to pay for it uh, with like three or four months to go um, after we graduated till when we took the NCLEX. So we had like a grace period of like three or four months where we could just do Kaplan's on our own. And so that's when, uh, and that's what I did. I just did a bunch of those Kaplan's, man. And, um, you know, I passed the NCLEX. I want to say 75 questions or 85. Whatever was the minimum. Um, it might be 75. It might be 85. Uh, it might be as much as 95. Uh, it was the minimum uh, back then. Uh, whatever it is now, I don't know. Uh, and I, like I said, I think it was 75, but it may have been 85. It may have been 95. Um, but that, that Kaplan definitely helped me. Uh, I had to kind of isolate myself when I did them and it was a little bit hard, but, uh, it definitely, it definitely helped me. And there's a timer also, uh, NCLEX is sort of timed. I mean, you don't have all day, but you do have enough time to answer the questions, but the Kaplan is timed. Um, so it kind of makes you think quicker, you know, um, being conscious of that timer. So definitely recommend the Kaplan. Uh, it, it definitely helped me. Uh, I hope it helps. Thank you much.